Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mithun. Today we are going to discuss about installing a WordPress on an AC2 instance. So we are going to in, uh, install it in a very crude way. That is we are going to install Ubuntu on our Ubuntu system. We are going to install uh, on an Ubuntu install or we would say on Ubuntu we will install Apache, PHP, MySQL. So there are other simple ways to install a WordPress site but however we will see you know uh, the basic steps so how we gonna install this is how normally uh, we gonna install uh, a WordPress on a plain server or if you get a proper server so in EC2 instance we gonna create uh, a login that is we are gonna create an EC2 instance on a Ubuntu and we'll keep the storage for 20 and on a, we will name it as a web server and in web server we're going to give a security group as SSH and the HTTP we'll open the port 80 number and uh, we're going to proceed with updating and upgrading all the necessary uh, files in uh, Ubuntu and then we will go ahead and install our LAMP, LAMP server so, LAMP server usually means Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. So to install uh, PHP 2, so we're going to update this one to in start the services. So system CTL uh, status we will check uh, the status of the uh, Apache and uh, we will start the Apache server. So once we start the Apache server, we're going to enable Apache to server. So this particular uh, command will help uh, help us to run the server after inst uh, if if you trying to shut down your EC2 instance. So we're going to use that. So once it is done, then we will go ahead and configure our, our database server. MariaDB that's what we are going to install so we will go ahead and check with the server and uh, we'll install the client and uh, we will start the services and check the services on MariaDB and once it is done we will give uh, password and root password we will set and restart our MariaDB so that's going to end with the installation of SQL once we uh, go ahead and install the SQL we will go ahead and install PHP so in PHP we gonna uh, have MySQL GD and uh, PHP CLI and PHP PHP common so these are the environment variables along with that we gonna update and for to get the WordPress we gonna take the a zip file and uh, so for that we have to have wget and unzip file needs to be installed and uh, we get the url and try to download it to a location from the location we will move to um, our vad dev html location and we will go to that particular location and once we have that we have uh, have to change the ownership of that particular unzipped file so uh, change ownership uh, dev data dev data um, recursively to this particular location and uh, when we try to open we if we are seeing the apache file so that index dot file that we will remove from it and we will come down to the root so once we have the installation ready so we have to attach your database so we will use uh, We'll log into our MySQL root and create a database name and create a username and a password. Give grant all the permissions to our database that we have created. So this is how we're going to execute. So let's get into our EC2 instance. So I have already plugged into my EC2 instance. Let me launch this one and I'm going to give web server. Web, web server is a name. I'll write WordPress. Okay. 
and uh, here we gonna use Ubuntu so uh, Ubuntu we have a 2204 so it's this one this a particular tier I'm using and T2 micro so that's a free eligibility tier and I'm using a uh, key pair so this is a key pair that I've already created security group I have allow internet also I've checked while creating it so these are the two security that have H SSH and uh, HTTP right now we are not using HTTPS for this scenario and I'll just make this one as 20 configure storage okay rest everything I keep it as it is let me <coughs> go ahead and launch the instant okay that means it's ready so we have an instance it's starting up so the first step that we are trying to do is we are going to update our Ubuntu system so let's see if everything is set is running and I'm going to connect from my page here so this is a wonderful option that um, AWS have come up with so you can launch your instances and connect your SSH from the same page so su to sudo su so let me just connect the sudo and uh, I'm going to paste this one apt update y so if there is needs to be updated it's gonna need let's go ahead and update all the Ubuntu files sudo apt upgrade yes so when we do upgrade it's go ahead and upgrade all the necessary files and binaries which is need to run on the open to system So while we are on the page which is going up let's go to the next step so we are going to install the LAMP server that is Linux Apache MySQL and PHP so the first step is installing the Apache server so apt install sudo app install Apache 2 so that's the command that we are going to use here I'm going to update all these commands on my YouTube link so you need not have to worry um, I'll just need to follow the steps okay we are almost there all the library files and everything are getting updated okay it's gonna take a little while I guess so pseudo system CTL status Apache so that will check the status of the Apache that we have installed okay we're gonna still okay 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 it's still showing some processing it's need to be getting updated we are almost 99 percent okay so meanwhile we would go ahead and uh, check for the wordpress url so in word press WordPress download 
so we'll come down to the wordpress download org here we have um, our good wordpress the download wordpress we have copy this link address and uh, we will update that link address here we just paste it here itself okay um, let's see what happened in our status of our Okay, it shows some progress. Which server should, should not be okay? showing some something which we have done it's not correct let's backspace delete all this command here clear screen and okay so pseudo pseudo so we're going to check the status system ct ctl status apache 2 okay so that means it's active so let's go ahead and start that apache service apache service started and we go to enable the apache service so enable uh, of the apache service will help us to so when we restart our servers or when we try to stop our services or the system go down so when we reboot or in those scenarios our apache uh, services would be started by itself so it will be up and running so we have now we have the apache settings done we have to come down to um, we have to come come down to our uh, db that is app install app install maria db server and maria db client so this is what we have to do uh, which we require a mysql to work on with 
you know uh, WordPress site so we have to have the uh, database servers running so while it is running so we would the configuration settings passwords and everything we will make it ready so it's calling all the libraries and functions we are almost done it's extracting files and adding it on to our servers okay and uh, so sudo system CTL start MariaDB so it's we have started it we will also check the status status which is active and running that's good Looking for insecure root account, okay. Looking for my SQL, okay. So, in that way, we are in the DB that we have set, and uh, we are have to have my secure installation and root password Which is number okay, my D version TP open to socket run okay that is perfectly fine and uh, now something is started DB okay ten point six point seven database server and uh, up up updating MySQL tables if necessary looking for okay installed and already updated and there is no need to run SQL upgrade again okay we can use for still want to upgrade checking for insecure accounts I'm triggering my recovery my SQL okay okay so we will paste this command here Uh, current root, root will not write here. Um, switch to Unix to authenticate. It will be yes. Change the root password. Yes. So updated. A new password. Remove anonymous users, yes. Remote login also I remove. 
so remove test databases if any so i'm going to remove that and uh, yes three dot privileges okay so that means we are in a completely good status so once it is done so we will go ahead and sudo system ct l we start m a r i a d b so we have just restarted it and now we will go ahead and update our php so as i told you earlier we have the uh, library functions or you know php mysql php gd php cli and php common uh, which is needed to run a uh, php so that we are installing along with it okay so to install oh, so let's go ahead and check what happened with our uh, connection instances we'll go to instances and uh, we since we have updated our web services let's see with the ipv4 ip address what we exactly we would uh, see in the page okay so uh, this is good to go that is apache 2 default page is already showing up that means we are in the right direction so we have the apache uh, 2 which is showing here so now coming down to business so to install or you know unzip and get the uh, documents from outside we have to have unzip and uh, so let me just remove this okay duplicate is ins getting installed and unzip it's also getting installed okay and uh, yes, sudo debut get and we will copy the URL link address here and paste it in so it's going to uh, get the un ls minus l so we have the latest zip file of wordpress so we have to unzip it as you do a sudo unzip latest okay it's unzipping all the needed files which are on the wordpress so since we have um, the file which is the WordPress file that is what we require and it's on the root so we have to get it to our dev file so in dot val dev and html so we have to copy that information so ls minus l see we have the WordPress in the root correct so copy this file so copy which file the copy cp minus r recursively wrt wordpress star everything to that that's a rule uh, location we have to dev, dev html okay so cd will go to that particular location vars dev html enters um, ls my, minus ltr so we have all the files which is needed uh, here so let's go ahead and refresh this page and what exactly we have seen here no, nothing is happening so we're still in the same page but you could see that we don't have the right ownership for the file so these are our root root files which we have 
so we have to take the ownership of this particular file so so what is the command that we have we are trying to use is ch own so ch own data uh, so ch own w uh, dev dash data dev, dev dash recursive later of this file so now we will see ls minus ltr we, will, we have taken up the ownership of all the files so that you know it's very easy for the modification and since we don't need an index.html file so i'm going to paste that command to remove uh, the index.html file yes it is done so ls minus ltr we don't see that particular file and uh, we would come down to okay so we have the uh, wordpress file which is showing us english so it requires a database name database username password and okay let's go so we have to update these information that is basically we have to we haven't created that yet okay so we will go to sudo mysql minus u root paste it so this is a password we are going to use to access our uh, db that we have initially created create database yeah. I'm going to give a name for the database that is web app you have an error message checking the manual and create user wp admin of the rate ampersand and identified by by a password that is identify by password admin pass okay we will check that in the DB how to create a database create okay we will see here what exactly it shows up create 
database underscore name So let me just open a notepad here and instead of database name I'll write web app name copy that here on our DB page here Okay, that is taken care. Now create a user and identify it. So we will check that here. So at any point of a time, if we have any issues username and password so this is how we will check the syntaxes create user at local host of okay, here let's see what is the syntax which is given by a knowledge base here So this is the so username can be and we'll keep the password as password itself for this experiment okay that sounds good and uh, the next step is grant privileges on database name and so we are giving the permissions again we'll come here and we will see how to give the grant uh, how to create my grant user and privileges let's see that what is the privileges how it has been updated grant all privileges on So this is the command that we have to follow here. So let's go to privileges database name. So the database name that we have. What is the database name that we have created? Let's check that. We have created a database web app. Is it so? Web app underscore name, that's the name.
so the R2 WP admin at percentage okay so we will write R um, underscore name with the follow with star then to then followed with the uh, admin so database name so what is our database name here is user underscore local letter host web underscore app identified by SSWRT okay so we have all the details which we have to update on our WordPress so what is a database name that is web app underscore name and username is web underscore app and the password is password itself And the local host the same. I'm not going to change this one. Submit. Try again. So, what are we missing? Username is web app. Password is password. It's on the local host and the name that we have created here is that matching it. Fab underscore name. Exit. And now we would submit it. Try again. So that means something is missing out here. So how do we check what we have written is correct or not? So let's sudo as mysql and see. So log into our DB. Just check the database. Select user from SQL dot user.
create user WP identify password. Uh, are we given the privileges? Correct. Someone is and password is So that shows that we have a permission issue. So I'm just writing as a f f o r d a b l e web app username would be admin and password. I'll just make it simple and. Uh, going to update my email address and install login now so that means we are in the WP admin page and uh, we have the WordPress uh, backend or we would say the admin panel and uh, we will see our pages also uh, it's showing up so it's have all this so that's what we have done achieved today with the um, ec2 instance so it's running up and running so we will have a brief so we have come down to this once we have set up an uh, EC2 instance on EC2 instance we have uh, Ubuntu running and we have installed Apache we have installed uh, PHP and we have installed MySQL and we have created a database and a username username and a password for the database and we have updated all the details and we have installed our WordPress site I hope you have understood a couple of things what we are exactly trying to achieve. However, all this information I'm going to, uh, all this passwords and everything I'm going to update in this URL, uh, YouTube URL. You can go ahead and quickly learn all this information and practice it. And uh, you have a wonderful day ahead.